Well, hi, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about two very important topics. The first topic we're going to be talking about is germs. Now, germs don't really look like these fun fellows on your screen, but they do come in funny shapes, many different sizes, and some of them look downright creepy. Others look really interesting, but you can only see germs with a microscope. So we wouldn't ever look down and see a germ on our hand. It would take a microscope to be able to see it. Well, germs are found everywhere all over the world. Even though they are very tiny, they can cause some big problems for us when they invade our bodies. Germs make our bodies respond to them. And when our bodies respond to them to try to kill them, we have something called symptoms. Symptoms are what happen when our body shows signs that we're sick. Some symptoms, like those of a cold or a stomach virus, can be really bothersome. Others can be really serious, like fever, or if you have throat soreness due to strep throat. It's important that we recognize that when we have symptoms or we feel sick, staying at home with extra rest will usually be enough to get us better. Other times though, it's important to go to the doctor for medicine in order to get better. With some serious illnesses, that hopefully only happen very rarely, a child or an adult might have to stay in the hospital for a little while to get better. With all sicknesses though, who can argue with this picture? Rest, plenty of fluids, and treating the symptoms with medicines that the doctor gives us or our parents, and listening to our doctors and following their instructions will help us get better the fastest we can. Now we're gonna change gears a little bit and we're going to talk about our teeth. I see so many people come up to me every day showing me their smiles when they're not wearing masks, of course. And they have their teeth out and a lot of times we have gaps in those teeth because so many of our friends lose teeth during your age. Everyone has two sets of teeth. You have your primary teeth, those are the ones that you have first, and then you have your permanent teeth. The first set, your primary teeth, grow in when you're babies, and they can be called baby teeth or primary teeth. It's normal for kids your age to start losing these teeth. Some kids lose them early, some lose them later. Eventually, you'll lose them. So the second set of teeth, or your permanent teeth, can grow in. Permanent means long-lasting. Permanent teeth are bigger and stronger because they need to last for the rest of your life. For a while, you'll have a combination of primary teeth and baby teeth. If you look in this picture, you can see what primary teeth look like, these are baby teeth, and what permanent teeth look like, they're much bigger. Up here in this x-ray, this is an x-ray of a child's mouth. These teeth are their baby teeth or their primary teeth. These teeth that you see up here, those are their permanent teeth that are just waiting to come in. You can see how when this tooth pushes down on this tooth, this tooth is going to fall out. It just depends on when that happens for each person. Kids lose their baby teeth between the ages of six and 13. Permanent teeth fill in that mouth from the age of six all the way to 22, with the wisdom teeth coming in last in the very back of your mouth. Sometimes we have problems with our teeth. Cavities, or holes in our teeth, crowded teeth, 
or an injury can send us to the dentist pretty quick. We want to be sure we're brushing our teeth regularly twice a day after breakfast and as the last thing we do before we go to bed to help keep our teeth strong. We also want to visit the dentist to have our teeth cleaned twice a year or once every six months. Thanks a lot for listening today, friends. I hope you have a wonderful day.